Okay, well, show is about to start, but I gotta make sure everything is in place. There we go, there we go. Cool. Alrighty then, it looks like the show is on the road. Yeah, I was just uh, getting ready right there. Um, you know, everything has to be perfect, you know, just because it's going to be a lot of people watching and I just don't want to embarrass myself. Now, if you've noticed what the name of the show today is um, and uh, what I was just doing, it will all tie back in together. So just sit back and relax and watch the next 30 minutes where we're going to be talking to you about all the misconceptions about um, your social media and all the misconceptions about the business and how you can actually, uh, you know, get around them. I mean, there's going to be a lot of harsh realities and a lot of stuff that we do not actually realize why it's happening, but it has to happen. And there's also a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that even the, the, the everyday person that we do this for does not get to see this. All right. My name is Prosper Taruvinga and I'm hoping that I find you well um, on this lovely uh, Thursday. Is it Thursday afternoon? Yes, it is. And um, it's our lunch and learn where we're going to be talking about the harsh realities of social media marketing and how we can actually deal with them. All right. So obviously, as you are, you're probably a coach, a consultant or your marketer that's working within a business or you actually own your own business, which is like, um, you know, a, a, an e-commerce business or whatever it is you're doing to actually make ends meet, you're going to face the need to be in front of your customers and you're going to face the need to be in the public eye through social media. Okay. So this is all right. Okay. So half of the time we actually don't know or don't realize what we're doing or um, how we're affecting the people that are following us or watching us. Okay. So I'm going to say today, do not shoot the messenger. I'm just here to remind you of the reality that reality can actually be harsh and that you know the reality of you working in a social media space is not an exception at all do you know what i mean every job that you're going to be doing out there is going to come with its own uh challenges of course and you know you're going to have to rapidly evolve and you're going to have to rapidly adjust to whatever is happening you know what i mean because social media and the business environment is constantly changing okay so there's a lot that happens behind the scenes like if you would have seen i was cleaning my shoes earlier but nobody gets to see that nobody gets to see the shoes nobody gets to see them except what they want to see which is the visual that you're looking at right now okay so do not despair if what you're doing and it looks like nobody's actually seeing or if, if you're working hard and it looks like nobody's showing up to your live videos or things like that okay so i just combed together five realities and really really harsh things that i think some people that are starting off or that already have a business are going through right now and they don't realize that it's common and a lot of people are also facing those harsh realities, okay? So there's one thing that you should realize, guys. Success is probably going to take a lot longer than you actually think. Okay, so no matter how different, um, um, you know, people are going to come into your way and start talking to you about, um, you know, how to grow, how to market your business, how to package your brand, how to actually put your message out there. It is going to take a while up until people realize that you're there and you are the person they should start following. Tyler, how's it going, man? All right. The thing is, it does take a considerable amount of time so right now no matter how many different instagram hashtags or how many tweets you're going to send out there you are going to be reaching to people right and it's not going to organically just make you gain 1000 followers in a single month okay timothy cheers for joining me thank you so much you see many of the brands that are already out there you know it's people that adopted or people that started with this social media thing a long time, way before you even thought it was possible. 
Okay, so me showing up to this, um, you know, live feed today, there's a lot of things that happens behind the scenes, all right, in preparation, there's a lot of things that I have to do, my daughter has to be in a certain place so that she just doesn't walk through and disturb um, us, so you gotta do a lot more things than you just putting out an ad and hoping that somebody's just gonna like it or click, click on it or share it, okay, so... Most of the time when we do then see, um, you know, content out there, we're already seeing people that have done the work prior. We're not looking at what they're doing, you know, we're only just being faced with what they're doing right there and there. We don't see what preparation goes behind the scenes, okay? However, we now know that when putting in the work, you will reap the benefits, and that's one thing for sure. But however, social media is now very, very saturated, and there's a lot of businesses, there's a lot of people that are competing for attention, and users or people that we're trying to reach out to are becoming increasingly selective, you know, about which business they want to follow, and they also, you know, who they want to share stuff about or who they actually decide to bring into their personal networks, okay? So that is one thing that we are now fighting against, and it's making it harder and harder for us to reach people um, that we think are going to be our potential customers, all right? And it's going to take a lot more than just a handful of, say, um, you know, clever posts, you know, over a course of maybe six weeks for you to actually start seeing the fruit of your labor. It is hard work, and I acknowledge that, and I agree. You're right. You're not going to see the benefits tomorrow. You're not going to see the benefits today. You know what? In my news feed the other day, I actually saw a sponsored ad from somebody who looks like a grandmother. Okay. And um, she wanted people to see her granddaughter's photo. All right. So people are going through all those extremes to get seen. All right. I mean, obviously, I was just laughing at that, that we are advertisers and we're competing with, you know, everyday people that are also now advertising to get people to see what's happening in their lives. OK, so in fact, it might take you a couple more years for you to start, you know, really creating and executing a major social media strategy that is effective. And every day you got to be tweaking it and executing so that you're not just going to come in as a one click wonder. All right. So before you start hitting your stride, remember, guys, social media is all about community. And tell me something. What community was actually built overnight? You're living in a community right now where you live right now. You, you probably lived in that area for 20, 30, 40 years. All right. And still in that community, they probably don't have a good transport network. They probably don't have a good bus stop. They probably don't even have a school in your area. They, or they probably don't have a few other amenities. Now, what makes you think that your own business that you just started two, three days ago is going to have all the infrastructure to get people to congregate there? All right. So you, you got to really play some really long game. I mean, obviously... Like I mentioned in the video yesterday, you're going to need money instantly, right? I mean, obviously, there's going to be bills or things that you, you need to pay for and then also leave the luxury lifestyle. But if you're not going to have the patience to wait out in this game, you will get frustrated every single day. All right. And this is how you then deal with not obviously getting results and this is how you deal with you know the frustration of you putting out content and nobody really biting onto it i'll tell you something every single day at 2 p.m i show up the reason why i do this is i've forgotten what it is not to show up all right because i'm getting a lot of people that watch videos that i did in january and coming back to me and saying wow this was so profound all right. So at the end of the day, you never know when your content is going to hit jackpot. Even the start of this video, the first, um, you know, five or so minutes, there was nobody watching. But I did not stop. You know why? Because I know there's a lot of people that are going to watch in post-production. All right. So whatever you're going to be doing behind closed doors, that's what you're going to be rewarded for in the future. Like I keep saying, there's people that follow you for two years, three years, four years, and then they eventually know that you are not going anywhere. You're not just a one-click wonder. They can now invest in you because they can see where you're headed. They can see that you're consistent. 
All right. So you want to really be patient and start really putting in things that even people do not see. Barbara, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Guys, I know something that a, a, a lot of us know but take for granted. Good things actually come to those that wait. And that's what they say. Well, if I say they say, I mean my mother really. She always told me to be patient about a lot of things. You know, when a little kid wants something from you, they don't stop to think that, you know, maybe you're not giving to them because it's hot and they might burn their mouth. They just want it instantly. Do you know what I mean? Or if it's a piece of candy um, that I I'm talking about my little girl here and she wants it instantly. She doesn't realize that you got to wait until you unwrap the, the paper and then the candy is inside. No, she wants it. She wants it. And I think that's the reason. That's the one thing that's going on with us right now. It's because of technology, right? Technology has made us so dependent on getting things instantly. Okay, you, 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 you reach out to somebody, they have to respond to you immediately. And that's the same thing that's happening in people's lives now. Do you know what I mean? They are also anticipating that you already know them. They're anticipating that you're going to respond to them immediately. And you are also expecting results immediately. But it doesn't work like that. More and more people are putting on their ad shields. Now you got to really penetrate your audience and make sure you're giving value that they would think they, 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 they can stick around for. All right. So this whole thing, really, like I say, good things really, really come to those that will wait. Success on social media requires a long term investment of time, energy combined with equal amounts of patience and tenacity. All right. Barbara says uh, very true. People want it now. I mean, it's, it's cool. It's all right. But how long does it take? For you to become a doctor. How long does it take for you to become a lawyer? How long does it take for you to become a pilot? So what makes you think that you can just be an overnight success on social media? You can just be an overnight success in business. It doesn't work like that. All right? It takes 21 years to be 21. So when things are meant to happen in the particular order, you don't have to rush the process. Do whatever you got to do and, and, and chunk away when you can. You know why? Because that's what is meant to be done. And by the time people are ready to look at you, you've put in the work, you've, you've put in the effort, and now they can trust that you're not just a one-click wonder. I see it a lot when people are posting around that status update that says, um, you know, when Beyonce uh, puts up a lipstick or when Kylie Jenner puts up a lipstick, everyone jumps for it. Or if Arnold Schwarzenegger puts up a program, everybody jump, jumps for it. But have you ever thought that it's because they're consistent? It's because they're producing. It's because they're there for the people that are paying for, for, for those products. And Barbara says, be consistent and be persistent. Very true. And I've seen how you're doing your work, Barbara. I really commend, you know, being a VA is totally um, a, a, a unique position because you got to deal with people's businesses, deal with all their crap, and also try and maintain your business so that you don't run, you know, mental. I've got a lot of respect for people that are VAs. You're making these entrepreneurs, you know, you know, stay on top of their game. But nobody sees that. And you're a perfect example of people that are doing a lot behind the scenes, but nobody gets to see that. People just see me winning the, 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 the prizes. People just see uh, Hussein Bolt winning the, um, the gold medals. They don't see the work that goes on behind the scenes every time he wakes up at 4 a.m. and is running and nobody's watching. Nobody sees all of that. Nobody. Okay? So, guys, all you got to do really is stay on top of things. Okay? And with a lot of patience and with a lot of tenacity, make sure you've got a strategy behind. All right? That you regularly review and you're analyzing. And most importantly, you want to stick to it. People are tired of grand opening, grand closing. Do you know what I mean? So they, they are tired of people that are just coming into their lives and then show up and then go away. So you want to show people that you're in it for the long haul. 
Okay, I'll tell you a really, really funny but personal uh, why of mine that is, 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 is pushing me to do all these things every single day and why it's so beyond me. All right, I'm from Africa and I came into uh, Australia six years ago when I was 28. I had nothing when I came here and I knew nobody. All right. And that's a difficult position to be. You know why? Because for you to even thrive in any society, you got to have some money. You got to know people and people got to recommend your stuff. So I was working in jobs here and there as, as you would just to get by. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, and I knew no one and it, it's a painful position to be. You, you probably are facing that in your business right now when you put stuff out there. Nobody likes it and nobody even comes to your shop. Nobody even calls your phone. It's a painful position to be if you're an entrepreneur that nobody knows you and you're living in the city that's the size of a box and nobody knows your name. Yeah? So yeah, there I was. But then what happened when I came to Australia? I left everything that I knew. That was my comfort zone, my family, and everybody else that knew me. And I came here to break new ground and here for greener pastures. But what also I did was start a legacy that is going to be going forward with the generations of the other Tarovingas that are coming after me. Do you know what this means now? This means I am the founding father of the Tarovinga lineage that is here in Australia. And I'm the most documented of all my lineage, all my clans. So if I'm not going to do anything to, 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 to leave as a testimony that we were fighters, we were people that came in and worked and did something. It's going to be difficult for my future generation to be respected in society because they are a no name. So now I got to work for that name. I don't want them to go through what I went through when nobody knew who they were. A lot of people post those things saying, um, I want to work hard enough because I want, um, you know, not to introduce myself whenever I go places. No, I want the fifth generation not to need an introduction. My fifth generation does not need to be introduced to anyone in the future of Australia. And that's how hard I'm working right now. So you got to figure out that what you're doing right now, is it just for you? Or are you actually doing stuff that means something? Because if you're not doing stuff that means something right now, you, you, you got to fail. And when you do fail, everything will seem like it's a lot of work. But if you've got stuff you're working towards, and because I'm working for people that are not even born yet, it's going to be hard to quench this fire. All right. I, this was a little bit personal. I never really go there because I like to create content that's evergreen. But I'm just talking about how you got to be patient. If you're not playing a long game, the, everything will seem like it's not working for you. Everything will seem difficult. All right. You will be a one click wonder. You know why? Because you just come in and then you disappear after a few months. So you want to be consistent, give yourself a reason to stick it in for the long haul. Just like what Gary Vaynerchuk is doing, wanting to buy the Jets. Of course he's going to buy the Jets, but it's, it's, it's that vision, that full vision that makes him want to wake up every single day. Even if something goes wrong, even if he doesn't have a few likes today, he knows that he will get more likes when, when, when the Jets are bought, when he owns the Jets. I know my victory is going to be there when my fifth generation is, is, is walking around and they're saying, because of you, we are who we are today. And that's the satisfaction I'm working for. So it's not about people showing up on my life feed. It's not about that anymore. So you got to figure out what it is that will actually let you stick into that corner, get all the punches when they come in, because you got to have to. All right. So that was it. And... It is a few realities that I just had to throw in so that you get to realize that, guys, at the end of the day, if you're not prepared for what's about to come and if you're not going to work for the people that are going to be paying you money for you to survive in this business, it's going to be difficult for you to actually put out a campaign, write a status and be relevant. And the fact, another true fact is nobody cares. Right now, nobody even cares what I just said the last couple of minutes. 
Nobody cares. They just care what's in it for me. What, 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 why is he telling me this? Do you know what I mean? See, you know, you know, we, we, we told you, I mean, seriously, I told you that these harsh realities are going to be quite harsh. And I, I felt like I needed to say this today because I woke up in the morning and then I was like, what, what are you doing? Where are you right now? What's happening? What's not working? And who are you supposed to be talking to in order to make your dreams and your goals come into fruition? I've got short-term goals, long-term goals, and future goals, and generational goals. Just to, just to, be, just to be a little bit weird, I'm going to take you on a little walk around my office and see the daily goals that I put myself forward to, all right? Every single day, this is the email reach that happens. I reach out to 53 on Monday, 60 um, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, which was yesterday, that was 52. Um, that was 52 emails I reached out to, and then we haven't finished out. And this was the Sunday when everybody else was chilling. Appointments that I set, okay? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and those ones and those ones. And what sales did I make? The my few, my flagship um, um, product, which is the online prosperity blueprint, three sales, and I made one. And the SEO, I sold two, and then two again there. All right. So, so if you're not setting up yourself for some sort of victory or some sort of stuff that needs to be happen consistently and daily. You're going to find it difficult to, 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 to win in this game. All right? Like I said, it's, it's all harsh realities. And I'm not saying that you should copy what I do or copy whoever. Stay in your lane. Do things that are actually unique to you so that people don't see that you're just another copycat. It's, it's really simple, but you got to face this fact, uh, you know, head on. Because the sheer scale of what social media can do, you know, because now we've got all these expectations about the amount of engagement that your brand should be having, etc., etc. But we're basing it on what? We're basing it on other people's results. What are your results? What are your expectations? What are your future predictions? Where do you want to take your brand? So maybe you, you could stop listening to me. You know why? Because maybe you're not working towards a generation to come. You're just working towards your, your next bill, which is fine. Figure out where you want to go, how you want to do it, and then just do stuff that relates to that. Because every person that you meet online has a sort of different strategy and a different why. They're doing whatever they're doing. So you need to figure out what your why is. And then when you go into your business, go in with everything you've got. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Like you have no idea. You know? But none of, none of it is all seen. None of, none of that stuff is seen. And once you stop na na you know, being naive and believing that every single human being on earth innately cares about your brand or cares about your work, then you will be seeing that Facebook is a very good place for you to actually create and relate to the people that matter. You really need to start focusing on, 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 on the posts and the things that will actually make you reach out to those people that will at least pay you and show them and, and to have confidence in, in, in your work that you're going to be there for the long haul. Because one reality is nobody, nobody cares. All right. But you got to make them care. Okay. So, so, so for you, for people to start caring about your stuff, that means you got to start producing quality content. And it's not easy. It's not easy to come up with something new and unique every single day. That's just something that we can't do. So you want to find a group of people or people that you think are your dream clients. And instead of, you know, trying to be all things to all people, just seriously, just focus on the people that actually matter the most to your business. That way you're not going to burn out. Okay. So for your customers, your prospects and your brand advocates, find those people that actually go for your values, people that actually want what you're selling, people that actually understand what it is that you're selling. 
All right? For you to do this, just look at the people that are currently responding to your stuff and your posts. You know what I mean? And then just come up with ways to strengthen those relationships and give them more of what they're already enjoying. The thing is, we some of us are not really doing a lot or enough. All right? So if you're going to be going out there and thinking, oh, my social media is not working. Oh, people are not liking my, fo- my, 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 my Facebook posts. It's probably because you're not doing enough. You're not being consistent and you're not relating. Okay? So when people follow your business or on your social media, what they're doing is they're giving you a green light to actually start participating in their personal feed. Okay, have you ever seen what the news feed is like? Your news feed right now, you probably have, um, you know, a, an ex boyfriend, an ex girlfriend, your teacher that used to work with you, um, or, 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 or a hater, and then after that, you've got a competitor's post, and then after that, you've got an advert, etc. etc. Okay, so picture what you're posting in your social media, and it's showing up through that. You know, that uh, myriad of, of things that they're being subjected to, right? There's got to be selfies from their friends. There's got to be thought-provoking quotes from people that they actually admire. Now, you want to ask yourself, is the quality of your post viable, engaging, and entertaining enough to actually take them away from what they're already seeing and, you know, start concentrating on your stuff? Or is it just a boring interlude? Or does it just stand out like just a boring and blunt sales pitch? So, you know, an easy way to actually consistently check for the quality of what you're posting is when you're posting something or when you want to engage with people on social media, just ask yourself, would you actually follow your company, your brand, or your personal profile on social media if it wasn't yours, or if you didn't work there, or if you didn't know who you were? Would you follow yourself? Please type in in the comments there if you would follow yourself. Would you follow yourself? Would you? I mean, be, be serious. Be honest with me. Would you follow your own brand? Okay, so there's tips and tricks everywhere on the internet. I'm not going to go into those. You know why? Because every second other person is really trying to sell something to you and, you know, give you a shiny object. I really just want to frame it for you that there's a few harsh realities that we face every single day, but you're not alone in this, all right? I'm here and I help coaches and consultants and service professionals, um, you know, to package brand and actually... Uh, market their services so that their business is profitable and enjoyable. So the reason you're probably watching this is so that you can also start making a profit within your business and, uh, you know, start actually living the life that you deserve. I want you to create a really, really big and personal brand that will increase your income, that will impact your business and everybody else that's around there. All right. So stop you know, just hoping and praying that, you know, whatever you put out there is just going to work. You got to raise above the crowd and you got to earn that position. Okay. So it's a misconception that you just have to post something and then people will like it. Because let me tell you something, the internet is more like a teenager, especially Facebook. I don't know how old it is right now, but I always consistently picture a teenager when I see Facebook. You know why? Because it's always in a different mood. It's always in a in a position that, you know, we never understand it. Sometimes it wants to be friendly. Sometimes it just doesn't want to be bothered. But what you got to do is make sure that your message is consistent to what you're giving out to the market. The media can always change. Every single day we're being exposed to a different new and shiny object, etc., etc., Okay, so the harshest reality is, guys, you really got to work a little bit extra hard and figure out exactly who you want to impact, why should they care about your product, so that you are not going to burn out. And for you not to burn out, you really got to have long-term goals. But if you're in it for just the instant gratification, it's not going to really, really work. There's a lot of noise on the internet, guys. There is so much of it out there. It's impossible to actually stand out in an increasingly 
crowded and competitive marketplace. But it is. You know, the truth is, is really, you, you can actually be incredibly effective and just, you know, creating a personal brand that actually stands for something. All right? People are always looking for leaders, aren't they? So don't go out there and think that, you know, things are not working if you're not putting in all the effort and everything else that's really, really needed for you to, to, to win at this game. Yeah? It's, it's not going to be easy. There's so many ways for you to, 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 to do this. You want to take advantage of, you know, all the things that are around you and use them to your advantage. Okay. All right. I hope this, um, this one <laughs> was a little bit, uh, okay for you. It was just off the, off the cuff, but I really wanted to, um, you know, really conceptualize and tell you, you're not alone in all of these, uh, things. It's just. Um, there's a lot of realities when it comes to building a brand, building a business. And if there's anything that I can do to help, we've got the online prosperity blueprint. I always bring this out that you can also utilize to actually grab the right kind of customer, send them the right kind of content, convert them and actually connect with people so that you're not just a high sounding nothing online. You're building a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And you also have quite a lot going on for you. And you've got an effective strategy so you can stand above the crowd and create a, pers a, a powerful personal brand. Okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent again today. Today, um, it's just one of those days. So um, if any of the stuff that I spoke about is of help, please share this video if you can. Or if you're watching this video on um, YouTube, subscribe. Or you can just tag a friend so that they can also get a little bit of the rant, uh, rant that I had today. Um, and hopefully that when I catch you guys tomorrow, it's a whole different game ball and you are um, pretty much enjoying the rest of your, 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 your week and the weeks to come. Okay, there's so much work to do, guys. Let's get back to it and be patient. All right. It's a long game we're playing here.